not allowed, but it does happen every New Year's Eve. We're talking about illegal aerial fireworks. Our Casey Lynn is live this morning with more on what's being done to keep those fireworks out of Hawaii in the first place. Casey, what's going on? Yeah. Hey, good morning, Steve. Definitely uh, something to see. Quite a sight and beautiful on New Year's Eve. But for a lot of people, it causes severe trauma. We'll talk about that coming up in a moment. We also talked about enforcement. A lot to cover today. Now we're going to take a look at the efforts to keep those illegal pyrotechnics out of the state of Hawaii. And there are a lot of agencies that are a part of that effort. I was able to speak with a shipping container inspector from the United States Coast Guard. They have about 75 inspectors that work with shipping companies uh, to check check cargo containers in ports across the state. Now, back in September, the Coast Guard announced a seizure of nearly 13,500 pounds of illegal fireworks with a street value of around $2.7 million. But with more than 1.5 million shipping containers that came through Hawaii ports, and that was just in 2020, that was during the pandemic, checking every single one of those is simply not an option. It would be kind of impossible for us, but we do rely heavily on other agencies like CBP and um, agriculture, they go, they do also contain inspections as well. We have a, a random uh, method to pick containers. So we have a total number of containers we have to do a year. That, that number uh, varies every year depending on the throughput of the port. I've also reached out to shippers like Matson and Pesha. They weren't able to get us a statement. They are working on one today, though. We may hear from them later to see what they do to help those agencies and screen their own shipments. Data from the Department of Transportation shows that 80% of what we use and consume in Hawaii is imported. Around 96% of that comes through the state's port system. We want to talk about legal firecracker permits as well. There were about, on Oahu, 13,000 permits sold for those this year. And that's actually down quite a bit uh, from last year. In 2021, we saw about 20,000. A reminder that you can, how's it? Uh, you can report illegal fireworks by calling 911. HPD says the best way to do is to collect as much evidence as you can, take pictures, because that's really some of the only ways that they're able to prosecute those folks. You can remain anonymous, too, when you report those, but that makes it even more difficult uh, to get them convicted. The fines can range anywhere from two hundred dollars to $10,000. Steve? Oof. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Casey.